Okay, so we're gonna do something that I've been actively avoiding, and it's saw sharpening. So I've set, I have the Veritas saw file holder because I have no ability to understand angles whatsoever. So we're gonna see how this works. Um, first I have to actually joint the saw, so I'm gonna use uh, my big flat mill file um, and just go across all of the cross-cut teeth so that they're all parallel and then we can actually work on the actual filing. Wish me luck. So what you're looking for when jointing the teeth of your file is that every tooth has a shiny spot on it. That means every one of them are now at the same angle, assuming that you're keeping your file at a nice 90 degree angle. So there's some spots here where there is a shiny spot, no shiny spot, shiny spot, no shiny spot. So basically you gotta keep going until they're all shiny. All right, so what I'm doing now is actually using the saw file as intended, or at least mostly as intended. I don't necessarily have it fence parallel to the saw at all times, but it's my first time doing it, so it's all right. And what I'm doing next is actually changing the rake and fleam to just the other direction uh, so that I don't have to flip my saw over. I can actually just keep going on the same side of the saw, but this time the rake and fleam are for the other side of the teeth um, so that each tooth has that... Um, two beveled knife point. But I don't have to turn this all around. Yay! And we're back to actually getting to the soft filing part. Again, getting the other side of the tooth um, and getting that second bevel angle on each tooth. So after looking over my work, I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I did okay. It does look like a crosscut saw. Um, there's still some teeth kind of here in the middle where the previous person didn't necessarily have as much accuracy as they did at the beginning and the end of the saw. Um, but, you know, it's doable. Um, and it's definitely sharper than it was before. Um, the real proof is going to be when I actually use this. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Hopefully it's, <laughs> it's any better. Long story short, I conquered a big fear of mine, which is um, filing a saw because honestly, I don't want to end up with just like a hunk of metal um, that just kind of lives in here and doesn't actually become a useful tool. <laughs> um, and also just like afraid that I would ruin my own thing. But um, the good part about saws, especially these old saws, is that... Um, even if you do mess up, you just start all over. Um, <laughs> uh, you joint the teeth back down to flat and then you just start all over um, and fix your mistakes. Um, so, you know, here's, here's hoping <laughs> that it works. Um, but yeah, so next thing I'm gonna, <laughs> I worked on my crosscut saw first because I use this the most um, and I've been using it really dull and which means I haven't been using it. I've actually been using my Japanese saws, but I want to work on my Western saw skills um, more. So here we go. I got my, my cross cut saw down. The rip cut saw is going to be way easier because you don't have to worry about, um, you know, fleam nearly as much. No, you worry about fleam. You don't worry about rake. Or is it the other way around? We'll find out when I work on the, on the rip saw. Um, so the other thing to talk about saws is that is a set. So um, you use one of these saw sets that have uh, an ammer and an ammer that have an anvil and a hammer um, in here. As you can see kind of right there, there's the hammer, there's the anvil. Um, and basically uh, the more force you put in here, the more the teeth um, are moved to one side or the other. Um, and the only reason you would want to do something like that is um, to kind of have the teeth a little bit further apart from each other, just to have the cut um, go through the wood a little bit better. 
Um, the only reason I'm not doing this with this saw is because while it was super dull, <laughs> uh, I did set the teeth on it um, just just to see if I could get just a little bit more use out of it before, um, um, while I, actually it was while I was waiting for these, uh, saw files to come in, uh, cause I wasn't having any luck getting them in town. So anyways, so my saw is all good and hopefully it actually works good. <coughs> so, um, see you around the workbench then, I guess.